What's going on, guys? Have you ever wondered what about other religions? Why is Christianity true and all of the other religions are false? If you've thought that before, I want you to watch this video. I stumbled across a video by Todd Frill from Wretched Radio, street preaching at a college campus, talking to a Muslim girl, and he touches on the very reason why Christianity is true and all of the other religions are false by touching on this one thing. It's a phenomenal exchange, and it is going to help you understand why this, this point is so crucial to understanding what faith matters the most. Check this out. My Christian friends who are great and unlike you, they believe in realistic things, which what you're preaching is just stupidity. I so you're calling me stupid? Every, basically. Okay. Basically. Did I call you stupid? No, but okay. you're telling me my religious beliefs are wrong. And you're you telling me mine are wrong. I'm not saying Christianity And look Christianity at how we can tolerate wrong. one I'm another. I'm not saying Christianity is wrong. I'm sure you are. you're preaching to people is wrong. All right. Christianity is not wrong. We believe in Jesus and we love Jesus more than you do because what you're preaching is just straight so up. So you're better than I am. I'm not better than you are. Sounds like it. No, I'm not saying that. Sounds Did like. I say that? Did I say that? I'm just telling you what I it feels like when that. you're talking to me Did like I that. I say that. All right. Exactly. Okay. Now you Don't said. Let me. Mouth. Let me. Thank let you. me probe on into something that you said. Okay. Okay. And I think this will highlight the difference between you and me okay. and our understanding of Jesus. Okay. All right. You said you're a good person, correct? I'm a good person. Yes. Have you kept the laws of Moses? Yes. So you have always honored God completely and totally, never wavering. Now this is a very important question to ask a Muslim, and I'm gonna tell you why momentarily. But most Muslims, they feel secure in their faith because they believe Jesus Christ existed. But simply believing he existed is not enough. The Bible says even demons believe, but they do not place their faith. They don't trust in Jesus. See, Muslims, they believe in a another Jesus. They don't believe Jesus is the only son of God, nor do they believe that Jesus Christ is God as John 1 1, John 1 14, John 8 58, John 20 28, Hebrews 1 8, and many other scriptures say. They don't believe that in John 10 30. They don't believe Jesus Christ is God. If Jesus Christ is not God, Jesus Christ is not good and he cannot save. Now, truth exists. Either Jesus is a prophet, merely a prophet, or he's a messiah. He can't be both in the same sense. Before we talk about that further, let's listen to her response. I'm a good person. Yes. Have you kept the laws of Moses? Yes. So you have always honored God completely and totally, never wavering. Yeah, I would like really? to believe so. Okay. I might have sinned you are a couple a, you are... of times, but that doesn't make me a bad person. Well, what does it make you? A human, exactly. A human who sins. And God okay, hold on. Given. I you, did you always God do? Forgiven. Did you always do everything that your parents told you to do? No, because I'm a normal child, okay. just like everybody else. I agree. Are you trying to tell me that you did everything your parents? No, ma'am, I'm not. See, but you said you're a good person. I think I'm a bad person, and I think the Bible teaches that you're a bad person too, because you've broken the laws of Moses. Have you ever, ever been angry at somebody because they just annoyed you like me? Yeah, okay, because Jesus said, you've heard it said of old, thou shalt not commit murder. I say, if you ever call your brother a fool, which is basically what you call me because you said my beliefs are stupid, that you are in danger of the judgment. It is murder of the heart. So I don't need to kill somebody to murder them. I need to think about just being really mad at them like you are with me. But I don't need to worry about what you think. Okay. All I need to do is so repent you said to God that you're and a good, God will take care of it. Okay, so you said Stop you're a good person. All right, I'm trying to walk you through one point. I, I know what I'm so saying. So you've broken the laws of Moses. I know what I need to As say. As a Muslim, how do you get your sins forgiven? By repenting. What does that mean? By asking for, for forgiveness, never doing the same thing again. Uh -huh. And if I could make it up for the person, if I hurt someone, then to do that. Mm -hmm. And so who pays for your debt against God for breaking his laws? I pay for my debt. So you I are earning your debt. way to heaven, correct? Yes, yes, yes. What? This, my friends, is not only the difference between Christianity and Islam, but the difference between heaven and hell. She believes that she can earn her way to heaven because Islam and every other religion for that matter is a works based religion. Now, why is it a works based religion? Because like 
Most religions, Islam, teaches that people are not born in sin. Instead, they're born innocent and they sin as they live. Therefore, a person must do more good works than bad works to be saved, or they must keep the law of their respective religions. This, my friends, is the epitome of a man-made religion. Of course, man will assert their own goodness. Of course, man will say, we're born innocent because we want as human beings, we want to feel pious. We want to feel good about our devotion to whatever we believe. So most, if not all religions outside of Christianity teach that we must earn by doing good works our way to heaven. But the Bible teaches the polar opposite. Romans 3.23 says, all have fallen short of God's glorious standard. And that standard is perfection. All people have broken God's law. Therefore, everybody has committed sin, even those who have not heard the gospel. They have God's law written on their hearts, according to Romans 2.15, and they have violated their hearts or violated their consciences, meaning now they're, they're not innocent either. They've broken God's law as well. So everybody needs a savior. The only way to be saved is to keep God's law perfectly without ever breaking a law. That would mean the only way to be saved is to live a sinless life from beginning to end. The only person that has done that is Jesus Christ. He has met the requirements. He satisfied God's wrath and justice. And all you have to do is receive Jesus's free gift by placing your faith in his finished work. Or you can live in self-deception and find yourself on the other side of heaven's gate on Judgment Day. Now let's hear her response. Okay, that's the difference between you and me. Right there. You believe you're earning your way to heaven by doing good, saying the Shahada, maybe by taking a trip to Mecca, the giving of alms. You believe that you are doing good to earn your way to heaven. I believe there is none who does good, no, not one, but Jesus Christ, fully God, fully man, he kept all the laws, was beaten and bruised, hung on a cross to take the wrath of God, fulfilling all righteousness, so that you and I might become the righteousness of God. I believe it is by grace, through faith, alone, in Jesus alone. You believe it's by works. Now, clearly we have a completely different worldview and understanding about God in the afterlife. You do not believe that Jesus is God. I do. So here I think are the options. Either you're right, or I'm right, or we're both wrong, but we can't both be right. Fair enough? Sweet. She's utterly speechless because she's now grappling with the realization that both can't be right. Her initial premise was she believes in Jesus as well, and he believes and he's wrong and stupid. She has the better view. They're both kind of right. You know, Christianity and Islam is right. Now she's understanding that, uh oh, we both can't be right. We both want somebody's wrong and somebody's right. Now she's wrestling with that dichotomy. Who is right? Because if she's wrong, her eternal life is hinged on that decision. We're all in sin. We all need a savior. And God so graciously provided that for us by the person and work of Jesus Christ. All you got to do is place your faith in him and all of your sins will be forgiven. It's literally a free gift. The gift of God is eternal life. So pray for that seed that was sown in her heart, that Ty either planted or watered. Let's just pray that God increases it and grows it and she becomes a believer. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I'll be back next week with another one. This is Pastor Frederick. This is about a book. Peace.